more. No doubt about it, the Portland Police Bureau has been in the national headlines the past two years as the city grappled with destructive and violent riots, a record number of homicides, and skyrocketing gun violence that continues. Our Liz Birch sat down for a rare one on one with Police Chief Chuck Lavelle. You're asking tough questions about the future of the Bureau as we all try to look ahead to what's next. Right. He said he's optimistic about the future for the Bureau and the future for Portland, although he says getting police staffing to where he thinks it needs to be could take some time, so could getting a handle on violent crime. To say this was unexpected would be an uh, understatement. Police Chief Chuck Lavelle became chief at a tumultuous time for the city of Portland when the police were forced into the national spotlight amid destructive and violent riots and calls from anarchists to abolish the bureau. What was that conversation like when you decided to take over? I mean, what did you tell your wife when you were walking into that? You knew that it was a dangerous time for police and, and for people in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. I remember walking over to, um, to City Hall to get sworn in and reading the graffiti that was on some of the Jersey barriers and things. I mean, things like kill all cops and all ACAB and all these other things. It was definitely a worrisome time. And I think you're worried about your family and um, is it going to be safe? Are people going to come to your home? Um, all those things go through your head. But for me, I wouldn't be sitting here today if I didn't love this city and this organization. <laughs> In the years that ensued, many officers left the Bureau and gun violence skyrocketed. He's hopeful the 20 new hires will help the Bureau get a handle on the violence, but it will take time to train them before they hit the streets. According to data coin obtained from the Bureau, this year gun violence and murders are showing no sign of slowing down. Why do you think it hasn't improved? Well, I think there's probably a lot of things that, that play into it. Um, and remember, for there's about a two-year period where our court systems were effectively shut down. Um, there's a, a huge backlog of cases, and there's some people who probably would be on some type of supervision or some type of adjudication from a court case that have just been out and uh, you know maybe engaged in crime or, or gun violence or things of that nature too. So I think we're dealing with that backlog, and there are a lot of uh, guns on the street too. Chief Lavelle stressed that police can't combat crime alone, but says they're doing everything they can. The Bureau has also been the center of attention for officer-involved shootings this year, some of which have been deadly. I mean, we had a rash of them during the summer, but it was really, uh, a lot of them were involving the focus intervention team also. And, you know, you look at the body of work people are doing, they're going after people with guns, people that are shooting other people. So, I mean, to some degree, that's the, you know, the demographic you're operating in. So, um, you're, you're probably going to have some of that. But I think in these cases, um, you know, there, there are people who are pointing guns at officers, shooting at officers and things of that nature. And, you know, officers have to respond accordingly. Lavelle tells me he thinks Portland's on a good path, working together with the community to address gun violence and Portland's problems. In time, we'll be able to, to find some solutions, but it's going to take um, a lot of people. It's not something the police are going to solve, you know, by ourselves. He also said he's hopeful the focused intervention team can make a difference when it comes to gun violence. That's the team that essentially replaced GVRT. And he tells me he does feel a shift in attitude both from the public and City Hall when it comes to support he feels there is for police. Yeah, he's, as you said, trying to stay optimistic in what is certainly a tough gig. Liz, thank you. Well, some very tragic.